Tonight at Retail Nightmares, we take a look at Karens who got owned and humiliated. These are Karens who didn't get their way and they got put in their place. And we have a lot of them to get through, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so this lady was being disorderly at this airport, and that's when she was arrested and detained. This lady demanded that these officers take their hands off her, and stated that if anybody was going to touch her, it would be their golden retriever, before making a huge scene in front of everybody, and literally trying to stampede out of there. Let's have a look. Let go of me! If I want anybody to touch me, it's your golden retriever! If I want anyone to touch me, it's your golden retriever! Don't touch me! Reach up what? Let go of my arm! You are definitely insulting your kind! Definitely! Four! One! Two! Three! Four! One! Two! Okay, so this Karen was raising hell in this place of business and for this reason she was asked to leave the premise. This Karen was given several opportunities to leave but she refused to do so and also refused to put on a supplied mask. That's when enough was enough and the authorities were called and she was detained and humiliated in front of everybody when she tried to state that she was profiled and that they didn't have a legal reason to detain her. This Karen was in for a rude awakening when they did detain her and put her in her place as she sat there recording them as if she was the victim. This Karen Karen couldn't just comprehend what they were saying and obliged to what she needed to do and instead continued giving everybody a hard time which resulted in her getting arrested and being taken to jail. Let's have a look. Oh. When you're legally detained, you can play back on your video. When you're legally detained, you have a duty to identify yourself to a police officer. Okay, so they're saying when I'm legally detained, which I was not, that I have the Can you try to run her with out of date of birth? White female, approximately 40, 45 years of age. How am I legally detained? Can you we were called me? here to investigate after I was judged. judged. Okay, so they're saying that. And I called that, you too. Okay, so let I me called the police too. Are you going to let me talk or are you going to be the only situation worse? No, you are. By not following the law. First of all, I don't have to identify myself. Yes, you do. Actually, I don't. It's called common law. You should read up on it. I do not. Okay? So we both know that I don't. I am a woman of God. This is my right as much as it is yours. This is my land as much as it is yours. I did not sign up for this. I am a Christian woman of God, and you are not gonna put your disgusting rules on me that are false and not true. I will not have it. Do you understand that? I will not have it. I'm sick of being bullied, I'm sick of being lied to, and it's not gonna happen anymore. Do you understand? The CDC just released Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this Karen was creating hell inside of this mall because she was an anti masker and wouldn't put one on. She tried to yell and argue her point across to random people walking past, and that's when this gentleman decided to call her out and put her in her place. This Karen was dumbfounded and couldn't believe somebody would say this to her, and that's when other anti masking white knights intervened and tried to calm this gentleman down. This gentleman then focused his attention on the other anti maskers and stated that it was his business, which it is because he could get sick because of these people who are in there illegally as there is a mask mandate. The security ended up having to get involved as well which only made things even worse for this Karen as she was put in her place and humiliated in front of this entire mall. Let's have a look. You might want to talk to the security. This lady here is in the mall without a mask. Yep, yeah, got you. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. You don't have a mask on. What is your, who are you? I, I, I've just come to the mall to pick okay, up. Okay, yeah, sure. And you are What is your threat. name? What is your name? You're a threat. What is Get your name? Get out of the mall. No, she can't wear a mask. It is my business is right here. No, it's not me. Put your mask on. Put your mask on. This lady, guys, on YouTube, she's causing trouble. She yeah. has no mask on. It's okay, she shouldn't be okay. in the mall. She is exempt. She is no, she is not exempt. Yeah, Did yeah. you see the paper? She's a liar. Hold on. No, no. I don't care. Come with me. Come with me. Sir, sir, everybody's complaining about her with no mask on. Everybody's got a mask. Sir, she's examination. Where? She told you. You believe what she says? Yeah, yeah. I don't. The police needs to come, bro. This is not fair. You might get arrested, sir. No, no you will. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, but he's hunting me. Okay, like, come with me. I want the police to come. Sir, let's say that. 
Yeah. Come with me. I'll show you the paper. Come with me. I'll show you the paper, but I need his okay, name. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this anti-masking Karen found himself in a heated argument with another gentleman for no other reason than he had profiled him. That's when this male Karen got in his face and started intimidating him and threatening to attack him and just trying to get in a fight with him for literally no reason. A manager actually had to come over and intervene and get between them as this male Karen tried to throw punches and kicks at him for literally no reason as well as state some very offensive things towards him. Let's have a look. Yep. Call the cops. Let's go. Call the cops. Yep, call the cops right now. That, that, that's what I'm tired of. You guys think you guys you feel like black people. Oh, you guys right. think you guys are you strong. Guys are, yeah. You guys think you're so strong and everything. Right? Come on, make a move, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come to go, What? Excuse what? me. What? Hey, hey, hey. Excuse me. Hey, you can go out of here. Time to go. Keep drinking. Police. Alright. Uh, the Walmart line. Yeah. Anderson. Pokemon Snap just came out. I was trying to get Pokemon Snap. <laughs> Pokemon Snap. Yeah, that's what we're here for too. Okay, so this live streamer was really bored and I guess he wanted to create a disturbance in the workforce because he went into a store and refused to wear a mask. This store enforces masks and didn't allow him in, which really triggered him. This live streamer went into this private business looking for trouble and started preaching about the laws and how this privately owned business doesn't apply to him because he's a private person. Then this live streamer refused to leave the store and forced his way into the store, telling the employees that if they want him to leave, they'll have to call the authorities. This live streamer claims that he can't wear a mask because his lips are too big for a mask and things escalated quickly when he forced his way into the store and had to get physically escorted out of the store and the authorities called. Let's have a look. Hey, how's it going? You require a mask? Sir. You require a mask? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's weird. So I was just at this little ceremony doing at the Capitol mm -hmm. and there's like nurses, a lot of like really um, important public people. Like, you know, people with high status like nurses, doctors, people that work for the uh, con or what do they call it? Uh, uh, Supreme Court, whatever, they were up there talking today. And they're talking about, you know, like the scientific evidence that supports that you don't have to even wear a mask and even the loopholes that you don't have to wear a mask because it's against our constitution. Well, we are a private business and we're privately owned, so... Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a not a... We do, we do require a mask. Yeah, I understand that. I'm not a private person, though. Well, this is a private business, so... All right, well, I guess you guys have to take me down like they do in Texas. No, that's your that's your right. If somebody won't leave your establishment, you have the right to bear your arms and take them out. Yeah, you just call the okay, call the authorities. I'm just gonna go check out some of the nope. stuff. You can't. I can't come in. Nope. I'm just gonna. Not on a mask. I'm just gonna walk over here. Why are you guarding my way? Why? You, but why? You're in my store and you're but not you're touching me too. If you're so worried about the mask, why would you touch somebody without a mask? Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to see more episodes like this, please subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on.